Welcome to Flash Tutorial 3, Reverse Object Using Action Script 3. And in order to do this, you have to have done the previous tutorial, uh, Flash Tutorial 2, Test if Two Objects Hit Using Action Script 3. And that's what I have opened on my computer. So now we're going to have it so that when this ball hits this wall, it's going to bounce back and hit another wall and keep going back and forth like that. Let's unlock this wall layer. Select frame 1. Go over here, double click on this wall. Now we're inside the movie clip. By that I mean if you look up here, we're inside wall right movie clip. And we have just the, the image. Double click on it because it's all fuzzy. Get them cross here. Right click, copy this. Go back to scene 1. Uh, click on the stage somewhere, paste it in, and if you can't find it, go up here, make your stage smaller, 25%, and you'll find it somewhere. should be there. I'm going to bring mine down, and see I have right here in line with the other one, but way over the other end. While it's highlighted, I'm going to modify it, convert it to a symbol, movie clip, center registration and call this wall w a l l left capital l shift underscore mc copy this okay open the properties panel and it should say instance of wall if not you have to click on this oh, excuse me you have to highlight this open the properties panel make sure it's talking about this movie clip and paste in that instance name Lock all the layers again, select the Actions layer, open the Actions panel, and to make this work uh, reasonably well, we're going to use something called a variable. Sometimes people don't like the word variable, but it's just a place to put information. I just clicked on here and arrow double again, and I'm going to paste in this code, VAR turns purple space I'm calling this variable speed capital S P E E D you put a colon full colon then capital N U M and as you start to spell this a drop down menu can come up and when you see the word number you can hit enter or you can spell it out it should turn blue space equals five semicolon that's the speed we're gonna change this by increment it by okay so it moves along So down here where we say the ball is going to increment 5 pixels, so instead of saying 5 pixels, go up here, copy this word speed, copy it, and put it in place of 5. Paste it in. So now our ball is going to move the same speed, but instead of having the number 5, we're going to have it done by a variable. So let's just test this out for a minute. Make sure this is work. It's going to hit here, and then it's going to trace hit. Done. Still working. That's good. Back to the actions panel. So now, when this ball hits this blue wall here, we want it to bounce back. Right now, all it's doing is trace and hit. So after that trace hit, put an enter and type this code type 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 it says speed equals so we're talking about that speed that's how fast it's going in our case it's set at 5 by the variable up here so speed equals speed multiplied by that's the asterisk which is the uppercase of the number 8 minus 1 semicolon when you multiply something by minus 1 all you do is change its sign and since we're on the x-axis plus would go from left to right once we multiply by a minus sign it'll then go from right to left so let's see if that works hits here and bounces back and if this is the first time you've done that big smile comes on your face back to the actions panel now we gotta do the same thing for when it comes back and hits this, this wall left so that's really easy 
all you do is get there's two curly brackets at the end right now they should be click here and go up and capture that right click copy that click right here after that curly bracket a couple enters paste it in there's just two curly brackets here and this is if the wall hits the left so make that a capital L and now this should bounce back and forth and back and forth. Test movie test. And every time it hits it, I'm still tracing. I didn't change that. If I look, I'm tracing all rights. And that's because this, when I pasted this in, I didn't change this hit. If I wanted to see that, I would make that a capital L. Now, I don't need to see these traces anymore. I know they work. So this one, click in front of it, two forward slashes, click in front of this one, two forward slashes, and one last check to make sure that it works. It should. Now, here's the good part of a variable. If I wanted to change the speed of this and didn't have a variable, I'd have to go in here and, and remember what was here before, change this one, and I have to change this one. And if I had several things going on, I'd have to change them all. Here, all I need to do is go up to the speed one here. And let's make it really fast. Let's put it on 15, and now watch how fast the ball goes. So that's the value in having a variable. Hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.